I haven't ever done a full-on product review video that's solely dedicated just to the products that I used last fall when I was getting everything out of my van and to put away for the winter. I took pictures of a lot of the products that I had used in with the intention that I was going to do a product review video. Um, so that's what this week is going to be about. Uh, as I go out, I'm heading out on the road next week, I hope, on February 20th. Uh, as I'm out there, I'll hopefully um, gather a little bit more information on some of the things and just let you a little bit know a little bit more about other products. I want to do more of that because I know that's one thing that I really enjoy in other people's videos is just seeing what's new and different or just things that I hadn't seen before and how I can possibly use them. So that's what this week is going to be about. Hope you enjoy. Okay, the first product I want to look at is my portable camping shower. I really enjoyed this, uh, um, having this. It has an on-off button that you have to hold on to keep it on. I really like that because while I'm trying to shower, I'm using my arms and hands to balance myself from falling out of my chair as well as trying to shower. Um, and I don't want to waste water. So being able to just use the same hand to turn the thing on and off with uh, as I'm using to direct the water is a really positive thing. It also came with two batteries, which was really good too, in case one for some reason runs out when you're partway through a shower it's uh, or through washing your hair. Um, it's a nice thing, extra thing to have. The next product I want to review is my WeatherTech window covers. They smoosh right into the windows. They're silver on one side to reflect heat and black on the other side if you want to be more stealth. And they make it really nice and dark inside. I really like them. Next I want to talk about my Jackery solar panel. It's a 100 watt solar panel and two Jackery Explorer 500 batteries, which um, I only had one last year. I've bought a second one because I want to be able to alternate them each day and charge one while I'm using the other to keep my fridge going and to charge my computers and um, just a few other things. And I, I'm hoping that that'll be enough power for me when I go out to Arizona this year, in, next week. This little collapsible table that I found on Amazon worked uh, really well when I used it, but I hardly ever used it. I'm setting up my van a little different this time, so hopefully I didn't throw it away because I, I'm hoping to use it more this time when I go out. This little fan was a lifesaver when it got hot. It telescopes so you can make it tall or short, and uh, it worked really well when it got really hot in my van and I would have the window open at night. I could telescope it high enough that I could actually um, blow the cold air in from outside. And it was also really good to keep the bugs away when there was a lot of bugs around and just to keep us cool when it was really hot uh, on days where we wanted to sit outside and play board games. It kept the bugs away and kept me cool. This heater was a good find, but uh, I don't like using gas inside my van, so not something I'd recommend, but I don't know of an alternative. These uh, bug screens that were made from gutter guards were a really great idea, but because they were so awkward for me to get in and out, I never used them. I still have them in my van and hope to use them again, but uh, we'll see how that goes. 